Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. As you can see from the title, today we're here for part two of my declutter and we're gonna be decluttering all things face products. So we're gonna be doing my blushes, my highlighters, my bronzers and my contour products because that drawer is an absolute mess and I literally can't find anything in there anymore. So today we're just gonna go through everything, reorganize it and make me remember what I've got in that drawer. There's probably things in there that I've completely forgotten about. If you're interested in this look, by the way, this is from my review of the Love Fest palette by W7, which should be up on my channel already. So if you are interested in watching that, I will link that up in the cards for you to check out. And also just a quick little disclaimer again, I just wanna let you guys know that the makeup will be going to friends and family members. Anything that is expired or too old or just a bit too much of a state is just gonna be binned. But I'm not gonna be doing any giveaways. I'm not gonna be sending it to followers or anything like that. So please don't leave any comments on the video asking for me to send you my makeup. So with that out of the way, let's jump into the declutter. All right guys, so here we have it. My blushes and highlighters, bronzers, contour. As you can see right now, it is just a complete mess. I do have some containers over here that I did attempt to use last year, but it's just not really working out anymore. I just end up using the same things all the time because I literally can't see what I have at the moment. So we're just gonna jump in. First up, we have the BH Cosmetics Belgian Waffle. I'm gonna start by getting rid of the card because I don't need it. I literally just got this for Christmas. I have been wanting it for absolutely ages because I saw Make Me Up Missy using it. So obviously it's brand new, it's not gonna go anywhere. Revolution Vintage Lace Blush Palette. This is something that I wanted for ages, but I have to say the quality isn't amazing. Am I ready to stop using it just yet? No, I think I will get it a little bit more of a go. The packaging though, as you can see, is broken. This is something that happens all the time with Revolution. Hair, you define me contour palette. This is Makeup Academy. This was a gift. Haven't used it in a while. Didn't get a lot of use out of it last summer, which is when it suits me the most, because this highlighter, it doesn't look it, but on me it is quite dark because I'm just super, super pale, but it is really, really lovely. I just need to get some more use out of it, so I'm gonna keep. Revolution and Soap Highlighter Palette. I stopped using this for ages and then picked it up again last year and realized I was actually enjoying this. So I'm gonna keep using it. I've made some serious dents in these shades. So I think I'm really gonna aim to use this one up as much as possible. Probably except these two shades down here because I'd never end up using them, but I think I could possibly finish it. So this is gonna stay. Uh, the Revolution, oh my God, this is broken as well. Oh, that's so annoying. Honestly, everything breaks with Revolution. I Heart Revolution Peach Glow Palette again wanted this for absolutely ages and I really like how this looks. I used this so much last summer. Really, really like this, so I'm gonna keep. The Beauty Bay Highlighter in Flash. I really, really like this. I keep using it. It's described on the website as an icy white, but I mean, clearly it has like a yellow tone to it, but it's nothing like offensive. I never think it swatches that well, but on the cheeks, I just think it looks incredible. Really, really good for the price. Really, really impressed. The Revolution and Patricia Bright Palette. I really like this one. I think this is a really, really good palette. I don't know if you can get it anymore or not. As you can see, love, love, love the highlighter. I could easily finish this one. I just haven't used it in a while. So I definitely, definitely wanna get some more use out of it. I did really, really like it. Not a lot that is leaving my collection so far, but I think, I think it might be time to say goodbye to the Revolution Ultra Cool Glow Palette. I really, really wanted this back when colored highlighters were all the rage because it was like a really cheap alternative to, you know, your Jeffree Stars and your Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just don't reach for it. There is a time and a place for colored highlighters and um, now is not that time. So this one is actually gonna go. We are actually gonna get rid of something. Not that I've got any space to get rid of anything. I'm literally backed up in the corner right now. I have no space. I've got my Clinique Chubby Sticks. I have a blush and I have the highlighter as well. I do quite like the highlighter. I just forget to use it at the moment for work because it's in here rather than with the rest of my work makeup. So I'm just gonna put them in my work bag and make sure I actually get use out of them. The Pinky Promise 
makeup obsession palette. I haven't used this in ages. At one point I used it all the time. It's a fine blush palette. I mean, I have gotten so much use out of it. I don't actually know if they still make it or not. If they do, it was really affordable and it's a nice way of just adding like several blushes in one go to your collection. So I'm gonna keep and try to use this again. Um, I have this MUA Shimmer Highlight Powder. This is the shade Golden Scintillation. Now this does look incredible and I think I did use it in a look that I never posted. They sent me this one in PR because it's just not a shade that I would really buy. Sorry, I keep going out of frame. I'm really bad at this. Um, I'm not gonna keep, I'm not. I just know I'm not gonna use it, so. There's just no point. This shade from Revolution, this is Dare to Divulge, and this is really, really, really nice. I don't know if you can see anything, but it is a really nice shade. It's just a bit too dark for me. And I think it's also quite similar to a Makeup Obsession highlighter that I have that I like a lot more. So this one is finally gonna go. Um, The W7 Contour Stick, I really, really like this. It's a really, really nice cool tone. I'm so impressed with it. It's super, super creamy. Haven't used the light shade all that much. I just want this side of the contour stick. I'm not fussed about both, but I'm keeping. I really like it. NYX Sweet Cheeks. This is so taupe. Their original blush in taupe is one of those classic NYX products that everyone had at one point. For some reason this one isn't sold on Beauty Bay but I did find it on Boots so I got it from there instead. It's still a really good contour shade if you're really really pale and it's a pretty affordable option as well so if you are looking for an affordable contour shade this is another really good option. The Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb. This is the original one in How Many Carrots. This is absolutely gorgeous. I saw this being used on Instagram or Facebook. I don't know if it's showing up. It's literally all glitter and I can't remember how they were using it now but at the time I was like I really really want to try that and I have stupidly forgotten how they did it now but this isn't getting anywhere it's a gift it's gorgeous I just don't tend to use it that often because it's one of those products where I'm like I don't want to run out of it but I do want to get more use out of it the Barry M Island Heat Wave Bronzer I've spoken about this on my channel a couple of times I do like it but it is quite cool toned for a bronzer I don't know there's something about it that isn't cool toned cool toned it's just cooler toned than other bronzers and I do find that it can go muddy if you're not careful but overall I do enjoy it so I'm gonna keep um the W7 rebel blush this is all night I think this might be the dupe for NARS orgasm because it's pink with that gold oh, that is really pink actually I'm not gonna keep I didn't enjoy this I had to build it up a lot to get pigmentation and because I had to build it up so much then all I could see was the gold reflex um so I wasn't a fan of that so I'm just gonna get rid I don't think I'm gonna use it the MUA blushed powder duo in peachy I have used this a couple of times it's just not pigmented enough for me. You know what? This is going to go as well. Um, the Anna Sui Powder Blush in 302. I really, really like this. This is properly cool toned. Like, if you actually want a cool toned pink blush, that is exactly what that is. Annoyingly, this used to be sold on Beauty Bay and they've stopped now. And I don't know why, um, but I really like this. So I'm not going to let this go. This is staying. The W7 Bronze Chic Bronzing Balm. This is clearly meant to be in a similar vein to the Chanel bronzer. It only comes in one shade, which is very, very annoying. I don't like that about it. I don't know why brands still do it. But in terms of the product itself, I do like it. So I am going to keep it. The W7 candy blush in angel dust i thought this was going to be a cool tone pink it's quite warm and i'm not sure i really well i don't think i like the texture i'm gonna let this go because i've not reached for it since the video i used it in the xx revolution cloud blush this is the shade soft focus i've tried this once and i was really really impressed with this actually the pigmentation was really really lovely it was really nice to use i used it with a brush that i dipped in and then blended over my cheeks and I thought it was really good. So I'd quite happily go back for another. The Iconic London Illuminator. This is in Shine. This was a present from my fiance, but I've had this one for like four or five years at this point. To be fair, there's not a lot of product left, but this is definitely expired. So this is gonna go. This was a cult product at one point, but um, it's gonna have to go. It just, it just is, because it's just old. We have the I Heart Revolution Chocolate Elixir. This is another one that I just wanted for ages, but I didn't realize how glittery this side would be. And this side is very pink, so it's a little bit too dark for me. So I could mix the two in together. Can you even see that? You probably can't. Um, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna try and play with it some more. I've not reached for it in a while, but I would like to try it again. Um, My Lottie London Freckle Tint. What has happened here? Is there any product left in the tube? Mm. 
it seems okay. I'm gonna wrap it in some tissue. And the inside of that drawer is definitely stained as well, which is really annoying, but I'm gonna keep it for now. It's a product that I have enjoyed. I then have this My Kit Coat palette with some blushes, couple of highlighters here. I think these ones are from Sleek. These are from my very old Sephora palette. These are the Sleek highlighters. This one might be Sephora, and I think this one might be 17. These are really old. I'm just gonna throw these out. I know powder products don't expire in the same way, but they're just too old. Right, let's bring out the containers. I've got the Ofra and Nikki Tutorial hot <laughs> I've got the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials highlighter in glazed donut. I do really, really like this one. I got it so long ago and it is still so beautiful. Plus it's in the original packaging, so it really feels like a keepsake at this point. Absolutely, 100% keeping. The Wet and Wild Blossom Glow Highlighter. This is so pretty. It's very pink, but it's also super reflective, super metallic. This was my work highlighter at one point. I really, really like it. I pull it out every now and then. Again, as you can see, very cheap packaging, but I just, I adore this one. So I'm gonna keep it. The MUA, this is Peach Diamond. I do reach for this one every now and then because it's like a duochrome pink. And every now and then I want something like a lot pinker on my face. I feel like it works well. A little bit powdery, but very, very affordable. So I'm keeping this one. Oh, this is Revolution, the baked highlighter in Golden Lights. They don't make this one anymore, but they do still make this shade in their highlighter reloaded. And to be fair, that is really reflective. Like every now and then I do want a golden highlighter, but I'm wondering how it compares to my beauty. Beauty Bay one. I've not actually swatched them next to each other before. No, to be fair, the Revolution one is still more yellow. So I am gonna keep it, because every now and then I do want a more golden highlighter, depending on what look I'm doing. The Revolution Glass Crystal Illuminator. So this was part of their glass skin collection. This is already going back two years ago, my God. I still can't believe the passage of time at this point is so confusing. So this was discontinued because there were those issues with Manny MUA who claimed that they had copied his packaging and it did look suspiciously similar. It is very, very pretty, but obviously if I use this in a video, you guys can't buy it. But it also feels quite similar to the Fenty highlighter, so I'm gonna let go of this one. And then the Makeup Obsession Loose Powder in, what is this, Champagne. I am not gonna open this one because <laughs> the net bit where you like get the product out fell out once and it got powder everywhere, so I'm not even gonna risk it. But that is really pretty. I really like like that shade. Just works on me a bit better with fake tan, but I'm gonna keep because I do like it. Then our next container, I have the MUA bronzed uh, matte bronzing powder in Solar 100. See, I do like keeping this one because it is a very, very affordable bronzer, but I don't think I actually like it that much. I think it is quite yellow. I'm gonna let it go. The Revolution Pro bronzer in Bayer. This one is an all right bronzer. It's not my absolute favorite. I feel like it doesn't stay on my skin that well. I feel like it has a tendency to fade. I just like having it in my collection if I wanna switch things up every now and then. So if I don't fancy using my favorite, I'll go for that one instead. So I am gonna keep it. I am getting really, really bad pins and needles in my feet right now. I'm definitely gonna have to stand up. Um, This one you've heard me mention so many times. This is my Revolution Bronzer Reloaded. This is Holiday Romance. If you are pale, this is a really good one. Although you can overdo it. It can go a bit too warm if you put too much on, but I feel like it takes a while to get there. Just super, super affordable. I don't know if you can see like how much of a dent I've made in it. I just really like it. Definitely one of my favorite products from Revolution. Um, So 100% keeping that one. And then the highlighter reloaded in Set the Tone. I haven't used it in a while because this is really, really intense. Like, you know what? They do do good highlighters. I will give them that. But it's like too much to wear every day. So I only wear it when I want something really, really frosty and really, really intense. And then I have the Revolution Pro Skin Finish in Opalescent. I bought this one hoping it would be a dupe for the... Oh God, what was it? The MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. There were two shades and the one that I wanted has been discontinued. It was a lighter shade, whereas this one, as soon as I put it on my face, I was like, no, this isn't okay. Like it was just too shiny. And I have been told that the lighter one did work better. So I'm just not gonna use it. So I'm gonna let it go. I literally just had to take a quick little break and just stand up for a bit because my pins and needles was getting really, really bad. So hopefully I don't have to do that again by the end of this video. Anyway, let's carry on. We've got a few blushes in here. This is From the Moon by Colourpop and Say 
Sailor Moon. Let me bring it in closer. I wasn't a fan of these blushes when I first tried them out, but I absolutely love this one at the moment. Look at that shade of pink. It's more on the cool tone side of pink, but it's not too cool tone. So I do feel like it's a bit more wearable than the Anna Sui one. I just, I absolutely love this. I think the issue in my review was literally that I was using the wrong brush. I used this with the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH06 absolutely no issues. Adore this. Absolutely adore this. My L'Oreal Life's a Peach. I'm not going to get rid of this one. I have used this one so much. It's just such a gorgeous summery shade. Does it still smell of peach? You know what the smell is still kind of there and I do really really like it. Just yeah still a good one. Still a good one. If you're thinking about buying this one I think it's still available. Um, I would go for it because it's a really really nice peach shade. Um, Now this is the Colourpop Cat's Eye from the Colourpop and Sailor Moon. It's a similar shade, but with a bit of shimmer. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I just don't see myself reaching for it as much. So this one's gonna go, but I'm keeping the other one because I love it. The Milani Dolce Pink. Um, I used to love the Milani blushes, but I have not reached for this. And the pigmentation isn't that great. It was a really lovely item at the time, but I think I've just got better in my collection now. So I'm gonna get rid. Melon Dollar Baby. Mm. I mean, first of all, this does smell absolutely incredible, but I thought this would be a lot more pink. I don't think it's actually that different from the Life's a Peach, and I just reach for that one a lot more, so I'm gonna get rid. My Barium Cheek and Lip Tints, I really, really like these. I've spoken about them several times on my channel before. Um, really lovely formula, really easy to use, really nice pigmentation, so I'm gonna keep all of them. The Mitchell Blush, this is Peach Sugar. Something feels really greasy, something's obviously leaked, and I don't know what that's something is but um that doesn't feel very nice i like the formula i like the concept of these i just wish i'd gone maybe for a different color maybe the pink or strawberry daiquiri or something so i don't end up reaching for this but i'm gonna keep it because i think i will reach for it i just yeah i like the formula i just wish i'd gone for a different color i also have the mua blushes the liquid blushes is it this one that's leaked maybe i'm trying to remember which one of these is the old formula and which one is the new one because i didn't like the original formula i didn't think the pigmentation was any good really and then they reformulated it and they sent all the new ones in PR and I was really really stunned like the difference absolutely incredible this is the shade tutti frutti I have used it once before this is going to be such a good shade for summer I mean look at that color I think I might still have another one left or a couple left that I haven't tried yet wet and wild this is the color icon blush in nudist society this is another favorite I love it so it's not going to go anywhere and finally we have the shade coral from beauty bay I just really want a really bright coral blush and this is really nice but because I'm so pale I have to use it really carefully like it just kind of comes out red and just makes me look like I'm embarrassed or something it's not it's not what I wanted so I'm gonna get rid all right so let's try and get this drawer clean now because it is really a mess I think that's as clean as I'm gonna get it. I'm actually quite impressed with how well the um, freckle tint went. I thought that stain was gonna be there forever. And then I've just removed the screws from the sides of the annex drawers. If you've had them before, you'll know that you can't actually pull the drawers all the way when the screws are in. So I've just taken them out because I would quite like to be able to access the full drawer. So I have bought lots of these containers from B&M. They're only cheap. These small ones were a pound. This is just a little square. These bigger ones, one pound 50. And then I've got these rectangles here and they were one pound 50 as well. So really, really affordable. I will try and link them down below. You can't order online with B&M, but you are able to check the stock in your nearest stores. So if they're on the website, I will link them because it's just quite handy, but I think they have them in most stores to be fair i'm gonna do this one here one long one here and then the square there and then the other long one here it's a pretty tight squeeze they do fit but really annoyingly there's just like this gap here i just had to take another pins and needles break um right so I haven't decided how I actually want to organize this. I'm thinking the palettes in this one, I'm hoping they'll fit. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just kind of see how it goes, really. Okay. 
Okay, this is absolutely not organized right now. It was more to see how much space everything takes up. Um, hmm, blushes do take up a lot of space compared to bronzes. Palettes definitely fit, so let me reorganize this one first. Or do I want to keep the blushes in here? I don't know. Oh, tough one, okay. Okay, so I think I want to keep the powder blushes separate from the cream blushes. And then we've got all of the bronzers here. Does this still close? Okay, that still closes, except for that one rolling. But um, okay, there we go. So there's those. And then could I fit the highlighters in here as well? You know what, I think I'm actually gonna get rid of the chocolate elixir because it feels too similar to the Wet n Wild highlighter, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And do I need to keep both of these? I don't know. I am for now. Do I wanna keep this one? Mm, I don't know, this is a really tough one. I'm gonna let this one go. I've changed my mind, this one's gonna go. And then I was kinda hoping I could've put my powders in here. I was really, really hoping I'd have some space. But I like how the highlighters are looking, and the bronzers, and then these are highlighter and contour palettes. Blush palettes we're keeping with the blushes. I have really gotten rid of a lot of blushes. That is actually quite shocking. Um, let me just see if there's anything in the drawer underneath that needs to go in. No, I think everything is okay for now. I don't know why there's a lipstick in this one. Okay, cool, right. No, I'm happy with this one. Unless, unless I move the palettes in there and then have my blushes here, cream blushes here. That could work for now. And then I'm gonna grab my powders. Yes, they will fit. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly take you through these. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any. Um, um, I've got the Revolution Pro Hydra Matte. I don't use this a lot. I don't tend to go for loose powders, but I would quite like to use it up. So I think having it in here will just make it a lot easier for me. Revolution, what is this? Eye Bright Setting Powder, I love this. I have lost count of how many times I've repurchased that one actually, so I'm definitely keeping. I've got two shades of MAC Mineralize Finish. I've got Light and I have Light Plus and I'm gonna be keeping both of those. This is just my favorite powder. MUA Pro Base in the shade 130. That's to go with this foundation in shade 130, which is my fake tan shade. Nabla Close Up Setting Powder. This is the loose one. I have not used that in ages, but I feel like I need to use it up. So I'm gonna keep it. And then L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Powder. I did not enjoy this powder at all. I don't understand why it was so popular on TikTok. I did not get on with it. I've used it over several foundations. The first time was over the matching L'Oreal L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and I thought it looked incredible. I used it on camera and I was so pleased with how my skin looked and ever since then I just haven't found it look that nice. It's too dark for me. This is the lighter shade. Throughout the day it doesn't wear very nicely. Didn't like this but there is a lot of product left in there so I do want to see if I can maybe get this to work and then I have my Too Faced Born This Way Turn Up The Light Palette. So this is quite similar to the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and then it has a highlighter here and another one here that's really glittery. So that's going to go in here as well so that I can use it up. And that is it. Okay, I am a lot happier with this. I haven't decluttered any powders, but that's fine. I wasn't planning on it. But this is so organized. I love how it looks. It's just a bit annoying about that gap. This is definitely gonna move back and forth. This is everything I've decluttered. I'm actually quite happy with that. I really didn't know how much I was gonna be decluttering, but this is quite a bit, and there's a lot of blushes in here, and it just looks so nice and organized now, so I am really, really pleased with that. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope, as always, that you liked it. That was such a satisfying experience. I'm so happy with how that drawer turned out. It's so organized now. I don't I feel like I've got a lot of blushes left. I, f I feel like I need to go out and buy some more blushes, but overall, I'm just really, really happy with how that drawer looks. I can finally see where things are and finally use up some products that I'd forgotten about, mainly my powders. You know, putting the powders in that drawer was a good idea because I'm not very good at using them up. <laughs> so guys, I will be working on part three very, very soon. I'm hoping to have it up later this week. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. That way YouTube will let you know as soon as it's up. If you enjoyed the video, then do also please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of it and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye guys!